All right, good morning. Welcome, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us on this very special occasion. Uh, my name is Lance McGarvey, and I'm very honored to have recently been named uh, the new public address announcer for the Louisville men's basketball team. So very thrilled to be here today. Thank you. Uh, we're here today to break ground on Denny Crum Hall. Uh, and this building is a true partnership uh, between the university, uh, Buffalo Construction, and l and uh, Federal Credit Union, uh, and is a true testament to the legacy of Coach Denny Crum. And by the way, very happy birthday to you, Coach Denny Crum. Everybody give a round of applause. 84th birthday for Coach Crum. Now, this dorm will house student athletes and students from across the campus, including men's and women's basketball, lacrosse, and the nationally recognized sports administration program here on campus. Now, we have a few people that are instrumental in the project uh, that will speak with you today. And first, we'd like to bring up the executive director and chief operation officer at the UofL Foundation, Keith Sherman. Thanks, Lance. Well, first, I also want to wish Coach Crum a very happy birthday. It's good to see you again. Denny Crum Hall is named for a Hall of Fame coach who led and coached by showing the power of teamwork, teamwork that leads to big wins. This project exemplifies teamwork at its finest. Vince and his team had a vision. They reached out to the foundation and between athletics, the university's chief operating officer, Mark Watkins, the dean of students, Michael Martis. Together, we worked to make this vision a reality. We found great partners in IPA and Buffalo Construction, and we're grateful for our philanthropic partners like LNN Federal Credit Union. Denny Crum Hall is a wonderful, transformative addition to Floyd Street and a big win for our students, our student athletes, and we're proud to be a part of it and all of the great things going on across the UofL campus. Go Cards. Now let's bring up Dean of Students and Vice Provost of Student Affairs, Dr. Michael Martis. Dr. Martis. Well, this is an exciting day. I remember when Vince grabbed me in the student center, he said, I got an idea. <laughs> and, and we started from there. And I'm so excited, Coach Crum, that you could be here. You're such a pivotal part of transforming the, the legacy of University of Louisville Athletics and the tremendous impact that's had on our campus. I think about the change in athletics and the excellence that, that it has brought to our community. And I think about our university and how much it has transformed over the last 20 years to being a premier metropolitan research university. Excellence in research, record levels of research, record levels of student engagement, student graduation rates. For many of you that are alumni, you know that we've seen this transformation of campus that has occurred. Much of it has occurred here on Floyd Street with our athletic venues and facilities, and also on campus in terms of our academic facilities and our residential life component. And we are excited to have this new addition uh, of a residential facility here on Floyd Street for our student athletes and our students that are involved in our sport administration program. We have focused over the last 10 years about creating living learning communities. We know that those communities bring students together. It helps them to find belonging and helps them to be able to better succeed in their academic experiences. So we are thankful that the sport administration program has stepped up and said they will implement a living learning community here for our upper level uh, sport administration majors and that our university housing, along with athletics, the coaches, Vince is committed to being able to be a major part of that, to be able to provide this excellent experience here for our students. So we're excited about today. We're excited about another opportunity to transform campus. And coach, much like you and what you've done, you've impacted people. You've impacted your players. You've impacted your alumni. You've impacted those people that have, have, uh, you have taught and coached. And that legacy continues on in them and what you taught them. And you know, these buildings are great, but the real impact is in the people. And we're gonna see that through the coaches that we have now, through our faculty, through our staff, through our university leadership, that our students will continue this legacy of excellence and will make us all proud to be Cardinals. With that, I'm exceptionally pleased to be able to introduce one of our outstanding faculty members, Dr. Meg Hancock from our Sport Administration Program. 
who is here today to represent the faculty. So, Dr. Hancock. Thank you very much, Dr. Martis. Um, it is an honor to be here on behalf of our Sport Administration Department, Sport Administration Program. We are the number one ranked program in the United States in Sport Administration, which is awesome. So while it is an honor to represent that program, it is also an honor to be part of this team, to really think about possibility. When we look about the possibility of integrating academics, career interests, and belonging in a single building where we are welcoming student athletes and our traditional students in their quest toward learning um, and being valuable members of a community. So we are very excited to be a part of this. I do want to acknowledge um, our interim dean, Amy Lingo. Uh, she is very supportive of this opportunity as well. And we are exceptionally excited to welcome new students into our program, into this building, and onto campus so that they will forever be Cardinals. Thank you, Dr. Hancock. Next up, now welcome Vice President of Operations for Buffalo Construction, Brett Norton. Thank you. What a commitment this team has to the development of higher education students and national leading athletes, and it sets the bar very high. We are grateful for the opportunity to become part of the vision of the University of Louisville. Spend just a few minutes around the likes of Michael Dudas and the passion for this mission and vision uh, becomes contagious. The Cardinal community is delivering on the strategic promise to be a great place to learn, to work, and to invest. The Buffalo naturally roams in a herd. I wish our entire team and vendor partners could stand here with me and recognize our excitement for this project. We are a team committed to the university as contractors, investors, alumni, students, parents, donors, fans, and athletes. Like Cardinal Athletics, we are at the top of our game nationally. We specialize in building better. We take ideas from napkins to nails with championship builds from coast to coast. Being involved in this project from the conceptual idea through the first student resident to move in is just the right way to approach a project. Collaboration of the design, the development, and the construction in real time is efficient and it meets the needs of everyone on the team. Coach Crum, we're honored to construct your namesake. This building will impact the lives of many and will stand as a testament to your legacy. Ms. Addie Stilger has a birthday gift from the herd and we're proud to recognize you today. Go ahead and open it up. <laughs> like Coach Crum's famous fishing trips, endeavors to this scale are never done alone. We're proud to partner with Larry Goff and his team at, IP, at Investment Property Advisors. Larry, thank you, sir. Your team are leaders in their field, and I look forward to your share today to kick off this great project. Thank you, Brett. Now, please welcome the owner of Investment Property Advisors, Larry Goff. Hi, I'm Larry Goff. Um, it's really great to be here today. We're really excited to be part of this uh, project. Uh, I remember it was back in 2008, we uh, first became associated with the university through our construction and development of Cardinal Town. And so it's been, uh, 12 plus years or so, and just to get another opportunity to, to partner with a winning team like, like U of L and the athletic department is just really exciting for us. I got a couple members of my team here, Galen and Roger. Galen's our development manager, and Roger is our uh, construction manager. I don't, I'm sure they're here somewhere. There, there's, there's one. <laughs> there's another with a goofy hat. So uh, I took my hat off to come up here, but. <laughs> But yeah, we're really excited. I mean, I've, I've really enjoyed working with everybody, you know, with uh, Vince and Michael and um, Mark Watkins and Dub and Keith Sherman and you name it. The, the team that is assembled, that UofL's assembled is a winning team. And again, 
we're just excited to be part of that, and we're excited to win here, too. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, Larry. Uh, now, let's bring up President and CEO from LNN Federal Credit Union, Chris Brown. Thank you. LNN has uh, been actively investing in our community since we opened in 1954. And today, our board of directors continue to take the responsibility of improving our community seriously. We believe in investing in future leaders through academics and athletics. Our community improves when we come together to offer more opportunities for education. Athletics, uh, athletic opportunities for success are great because racial and socioeconomic barriers are instantly removed. This project combines both athletic and academic opportunities, so we're very blessed and thankful to Vince and his team for giving us this opportunity to be part of it. I want to thank Coach Crum for his amazing career here. I can still remember the pride our city had when we won our first NCAA championship in 1980, and that championship brought people in this city together, and it provided the spark and belief that UofL could be a national program, not just in basketball, but in all sports. Uh, his success created uh, interest in the community that has brought tremendous growth uh, to this campus. So on behalf of our 100,000 customers, our employees, our board of directors, I want to thank you, Coach Crum, and uh, the University of Louisville for letting us be part of this project. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, all of our speakers. Now, please welcome Vice President of Intercollegiate Athletics and Director of Athletics, Vince Tyre. Move a little up from you, Meg, when you had it up here. Thanks, Lance. I appreciate it, and we're, we're happy to have you on the team as well. It's been a great addition to, uh, to the athletic department and to our fans and the fan experience. So appreciate everybody in attendance and those that have spoken uh, today. I can't, I can't even explain how many people are involved in this project. I think you heard a lot of names come out, and I've got notes here that I don't miss some of them. But some of them that's, uh, uh, that's not noted is some of the key supporters here that we've had. l and is certainly one of them. Chris has been terribly supportive of a lot of the projects we have going on. Uh, Junior Bridgman and Doris, a uh, big supporter and donor to this project. Isaac and Kerry Roth, also uh, big supporters of the project. Sandra Frazier, uh, Boscar and Padma Rao, also continue to be great supporters of the uh, athletic department and more. There's more than that that uh, certainly will participate in this project and the, and the, uh, the eventual renovation of the Planet Fitness Keeper Center across the street. So we appreciate you playing a role for those that are here. For those that are not here, unfortunately, Dr. Bendapudi couldn't be here today. Uh, Junior Bridgman couldn't, but uh, members of our board of trustees and the EULA board who couldn't be here, we appreciate their support in, in getting to where we are today. Uh, as, as Dean Martis mentioned, it was just a, a concept that, that got us here. You know, from that concept to the groundbreaking, we had a lot of conversations about the value this property could have to, in terms of the student housing and what was going on on campus. Uh, and what this, what this project can mean to the athletic department as well and, and to support Coach Mack, Coach Walls, and Coach Teeter and their teams as well as, uh, as Meg knows, I got a special place in my heart for her in the sports administration program and uh, she invites me a lecture every once in a while which is fun on leadership. But the, the position of this facility on campus is, is really unique and I think that's what made it interesting when we were looking at, at creating a dorm. And uh, right on Floyd Street, visibility at I-65, it's just another sign of progress on campus. And, uh, and it's unique in its structure because you'll see the pedway that goes across to meet up uh, with the Planet Fitness Kiever Center. It's gonna be one of the more structurally appealing facilities that we have on campus. And as again, I just think it's a sign of progress. When we first considered you know, renovating Minority Hall, um, this location seemed ideal and more ideal for a grassroots effort and a fresh start. Um, you know, that started with uh, me having conversations with, with Coach Walls, Coach Mack, Coach Teeter about the opportunity to build a facility like this. Um, none of them said no, by the way. <laughs> but I also reached out to Meg, you know, Dr. Hancock, and we talked about the program and what it could mean and having a living learning opportunity for our students here and, uh, and how we could have them in the dorm and have 
uh, some opportunities inside there would be unique nowhere else on campus and support her number one ranking in the country. Um, Michael Dudas took that in our Cardinal Athletic Fund and the conversations with Buffalo Construction, IPA, it, it expounded from there, expanded to there with Keith Sherman and the foundation, Dean Martis, uh, Dan Durbin, our CFO, Mark Watkins, our COO, all of their key lieutenants to just, and we talked about the feasibility of the dorm and we, we pushed every button to figure out, does this really work? Does this make sense financially? And, uh, and make sure we get it at a price uh, a bed rate for our students it was in our mind affordable and that did take some additional uh, support from uh, athletics and we've been able to accomplish that so you know I, I think that the last all that led to what I believe is one of the more unforgettable conversations I had and that was with Denny and Susan across the street so when we were across the street in the conference room um, you know that was one of my biggest highlights here and it was a uh, it was an emotional day in a lot of ways. I could have them look over my shoulder out the window to this lot and see where the future building was gonna be uh, built. And, uh, and putting Denny's name on the, the dorm was the last piece of the puzzle for me that uh, uh, I was really excited about, particularly as it relates to the legacy of our athletic department. Uh, over the many years, we've, you know, we're committed to that. The Wade Houston tip-off classic, the Lindy Lyles Cardinal Invitational are just other examples, but rest assured there's gonna be more to come. Uh, recognizing our legacy we've we've got a lot of things in mind we've had a lot of great athletes a lot of great coaches a lot of great teams Brendan McKay recently Lamar Jackson uh, Russ Smith Kelsey Dahlia uh, gold medal winner in the pool which I was in the pool this morning at 830 with our men's swim team and then uh, got a little uh, hairbrush and got over to meet you guys but there, there's plenty of legacy to recognize and we'll do that but today's definitely a emotional one more for our, our true honoree and our birthday boy uh, and Hall of Fame coach, Denny Crum. You know, Denny came to Louisville and he never left. His continued to give to our university and to this community will never be forgotten. That doesn't always happen as we all know. And as a hometown kid, that certainly resonates with me more than Denny knows. So like Denny, this will be a Hall of Fame dorm that we'll be very proud of. With that said, I know you're ready to ask uh, our Hall of Fame coach and a Hall of Fame friend, uh, Denny Crum, a few questions. So I'll invite Coach Crum up here for a minute. Got a small token to put on this wall with all those, all those uh, fishing and hunting efforts uh, down in your basement. So I'll let Susan hang on to this while you get some questions. Uh, first thing I need to do is thank all of you that have already participated, and some of you that haven't. Just I appreciate you very much. This means a lot to me. It, I don't even know how to say it, but I've got some, my wife here, Susan, and my son, Steve, and his fiance. Got my other son, Scott, and his sister, my daughter, and they all mean a lot to me, and I'm tickled that they're all here. And all of you that I don't even know, I just have to feel really good about this whole project. Uh, it, it'll be a great addition, I think, to the university. It, just driving up, when we came up 4th Street come, to come in here, I, I was, uh, I was just, you know, it's astounding how much this campus has grown. Uh, it, it's, it, it's just gotten better and better every year. And we, we've got a lot of new people, which is good. Uh, and I, it, I have to feel really good about it. But if I could 
give you any words of wisdom, I probably would, but I can't. <laughs> so whatever, without, without <laughs> that, I'll uh, entertain you for any, any questions that anyone might have. I caught, yeah, here we go. Questions, uh, you have one? Uh, Coach Crum, uh, what do you remember about your own dormitory at UCLA, and uh, how much of an improvement is this? I'm I'm sorry, but I I didn't hear the question. Yes, uh, what do you remember about your own dormitory at UCLA? How does it compare to this? Oh, I I was lived in a fraternity house, <laughs> and and that ought to tell you something. <laughs> But it, wa it wasn't anything like this, I can tell you that. Uh, it, it was just part of what we did. And uh, I had a great experience at UCLA. It, was, it prepared me to come here and have some degree of success. Uh, so I love it. I love UCLA, but I decided this was my place to be and I, I I could not tell you any more about my UCLA experience without mentioning coach John Wooden who was my mentor and uh, that was just part of it Next question. In terms of birthday gifts, where does getting a building rank in, in terms of all the birthday gifts you've ever had? <laughs> I can't. How does this birthday gift to this building rank with other birthday gifts? Oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> I, you won't offend her. I, I, ha I, I, ha I haven't even taken the time to thank her because she's been taking good care of me. And uh, I, I needed lots of help for a while there. I had a stroke. In fact, I had two strokes. And uh, we've got a potato soup luncheon coming up at Roosters over on Shelbyville Road. <laughs> and that, that's what I'm going to be doing the rest of the day. <laughs> but uh, we should love all of you to come over and, and join us. If you haven't had my potato soup, you have not had any soup. <laughs> it, it's very, very good. And I just tell you that, and it is. Other Even questions. if I did make it myself. <laughs> Coach Crum, whenever you show up at a uh, basketball game, there's always a, a, a camera that captures you and a, a huge ovation. It's been now, I think, 35 years since the last NCAA title. What do you think uh, accounts for your continued popularity? No. You said it's been, you know, 35 years since. Uh, oh, yeah. Why do you think you're. Uh, you know, I, I don't know why they they why they get excited about that. I I I appreciate it very much. It's it's really a it's an honor. I think that, that they just gave me an opportunity to say thank you to them. Uh, I, I love this university. I put my heart and soul and and a, a lot of money into it. But that's not the the primary thing. The thing it, it the, being able to 
take these uh, these excuse me just being able to <coughs> being able to take the uh, I, it's it's hard for me to say this. I don't know why. But, well, there's a lot of things that, that are hard for me to say now. I I can't give it. A, I can't give my heart and soul if I can't even talk. So it's kind of hard to. But I but I love this university and. And the people involved with it, and and uh, the, the student athletes. Uh, hey boy, it gives me an opportunity to to uh, talk to everybody and see everybody. I get to go out to the baseball games and basketball games, and, and they probably won't let me in some of the places, but. If they don't, why well, I'll call Vince, and, and I know he'll get me in there. So, and uh, or I can call Kenny Klein. I guarantee you, he get me in. But it's it's all part of it. I, I I'm just tickled to death to be here, and and. Uh, I made a decision a long time back, it's been a long time ago, that I was going to stay here and and uh, give back to this university what it, 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 it had given to me, the opportunity, and it's, it's been a wonderful experience for me. I was wondering when I left UCLA what I was doing. I, I Coach Wooden was getting ready to retire. And I, I thought about, well, maybe I ought to stay here and coach at UCLA. And I, I, I love thinking about that decision over and over and over. Uh, it was a very, very difficult decision for me to make, but I made the right one by staying here. I can tell you that. Thank you. Is there any all of more questions, Coach? That's it. Yeah, no questions? All, all done. That's it? Oh, good. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all being here. Thank you so much, Coach Crum. One more round of applause, please, for Coach Crum. All right, now if our dignitaries could all come and uh, grab a shovel, uh, we'll begin our uh, groundbreaking.
get this project started. Thank you. 